video games. We love playing them, but are we really calling all the shots in them, or is something else dictating how we play them? Today we're going to look at how player agency is affected by game design. First of all, what is player agency? To understand that, we have to understand rules. As stated by Tullock, rules function to deny free play. They deprive the player of their freedom of action, instead only allowing very limited and specific practices to occur. This tells us that player agency is what a player is able to do while being affected by rules, and in this case, the rules set by the game designer and the restrictions of the game world. To do this, we're going to look at Hideo Kojima's Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. In this clip, the player is given a tank to assault the enemy outpost with. While this is effective, it's not the only tool given to the player. In The Phantom Pain, the player is given full freedom on how they wish to approach any given situation. The player can approach the outpost at night, or the player can choose to assault the outpost during the day. Some very interesting tactics. Games are about agency. They're about giving the players choice and opportunity, but sometimes choice isn't determined by the rules of the game, but the rules that a player abides by. Players take control of an in-game character, which becomes the player character. Because the player views the game world from that character's point of view, they, essentially, become the player character, and the choices made by that character are the choices made by the player themselves. In this clip, from Ubisoft's Splinter Cell Blacklist, the player can choose to take out the guard lethally or non-lethally. The decision is made based on whether the player wishes to be lethal or non-lethal, and isn't imposed by the game at all. Player agency is therefore a sum of the factors, is affected by the game's restrictions and rules imposed upon the player, and the player themselves and the choices that they are able to make. 